come in. Hello there, Miss Paul. Hi there. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. What appears to be the problem today, Miss Paul? Uh, basically, I've been uh, started on lithium carbonate by my doctor. Mm -hmm. I started about a week ago. Okay. Um, I do suffer from depression. Right. Um, and I've taken a couple of other medications before in the past, mm -hmm. such as citalopram yeah. and duloxetine, I think. Yeah. Um, from what I'm taking now, um, which is lithium, I'm aware that I have to take two tablets in the morning and two in the evening. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Um, basically, I was given a treatment pack and an information leaflet about lithium. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, I can't really make no head nor tail about it, and I'm okay. just wondering if you could help me. Yeah, well, if you tell me what it is that you're exactly not understanding, and then we can go through that. Okay, great. Um, firstly, I read in the leaflet that I need to actually get my thyroid checked and also my kidneys. Yeah. Um, I believe I actually took these tests not so long ago, and I'm just wondering if I need to get them done again and why I need to get them done again if I do. Okay, um, so in terms of your kidneys, um, your ki lithium has gotten rid of in your body by your kidneys. Okay. Um, so you need to ensure that you keep getting these checks, even though you've probably had one last week before your therapy was started, okay. um, just to ensure that they are functioning correctly and so you won't get a build-up of lithium in your body, because okay. obviously that can cause side effects. Okay. Um, so that's why you need to ensure that you keep getting these kidney checks. Um, in terms of your thyroid, um, if your thyroid was to not work properly, okay. you would get symptoms such as fatigue and tiredness. Okay. And obviously this can be mistaken for symptoms of depression as well. Okay. So your doctor might think, okay, um, clearly this patient's getting symptoms again, so maybe their dosage needs to be increased. Okay. Um, when in actual fact it might be your thyroids that aren't working properly right. and that's what's causing the symptoms. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Okay, so that's why. Um, also, I have a, uh, a problem with swallowing tablets. Okay. I have done for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, I am interested in changing, but I've also read somewhere that you shouldn't change a formulation that you're taking. Um, yeah, basically what it is, there's a lot of different brands of lithium available um, and different brands release different amounts of lithium into your body, so the actual drug. Okay. Um, so that's why it's important not to change brands if you can help it. Okay. Um, however, if you are suffering from, um, sorry, if you are having difficulty swallowing tablets, then you can um, actually get a liquid formulation okay. of lithium instead. Okay. Um, but in order to get this, you'll have to go back to your GP, unfortunately, and oh. you'll have to prescribe it. Um, and then from then on, we'll give you that brand in the pharmacy. We're not able to actually change it here. Okay. So if you go back to your GP, I'm sure he can sort that out for you. Okay, great. I'll probably do that then. Okay. Um, also, he did mention uh, something about an alert card, I believe. Um, yeah. It was quite vague. I'm not really sure what it is or what I'm supposed to do with one. Okay. Um, an alert card is basically a little card that we suggest you carry around with you. So maybe in your handbag or your wallet, purse. Um, and basically, it contains basic details about yourself, so such as your name, address, contact details, telephone number. Right. Um, and it also contains information about your therapy, so your dosage, um, the brand of lithium that you take. Okay. Um, strength of lithium that you take, um, all that sort of information. Okay. And basically what we suggest is that you um, present this card to um, any health professional that you come into contact with. Okay. So this could be uh, a doctor, a dentist, um, a nurse, a pharmacist. Okay. Um, so every time you come into anybody who is a health professional, you should present the card. Okay. And basically, this is so that they know that you are taking lithium. Okay. Um, so that if they want to prescribe you any other medication, they will ensure that it doesn't interact with the lithium that you're taking. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does. Okay, great. So it's just the alert card that I'm carrying around. Yeah, um, have you heard um, about the record card? Um, no, I haven't actually. Um, you should have received one of these as well. Okay. And um, what that is basically is it keeps a record of all the checks that you've had in the past. Okay. So checks on your thyroid, your kidneys, your blood plasma levels. Um, and it just keeps a check on those. Okay. Um, so that you don't um, experience that you've missed a um, check in okay. the past. Okay. It makes sure that everything's up to date. Okay. Um, and if not, then it will... Um, alert the health professional who's seen your record card okay. that you know you've got a check so test that's not that's not been done kind of thing so i'll carry that with me as well as long as well as my alert card yeah well every time you go for a check yeah um, you should take it with you then basically okay great um i actually have another question um i mean i plan on following my um regime quite strictly yeah um but if the levels of lithium get too high in my blood um how will i know this will happen 
Okay, um, if your levels of lithium do get too high in the blood, then you are most likely going to suffer from side effects. Um, there's a lot of side effects, to be honest, and they are listed in your patient information leaflet. Okay. Um, but the most common ones are slurred speech, um, fatigue, um, a severe hand tremor you might suffer from as well. Okay. Um, but then again, these symptoms might be quite mild and you might not notice them. Okay. So what we recommend is that you actually alert your friends and family, close friends and family that you see all the time, okay. um, as to what these side effects are. Um, and it might be easy for them to recognise these side effects on you, okay. as opposed to you recognising them on yourself. Okay. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that, I can understand yeah. that. Um, also, the, the doctor said that I should avoid um, a high salt intake in my diet. Yeah. Um, that's fine, but I was just wondering if, if there are any other precautions I should take regarding my diet? Yeah, um, so your salt content should be maintained. Okay. Um, and also it's important to stay well hydrated, so drink plenty of water. Okay. Um, has your doctor mentioned anything about caffeine, tea and coffee? Um, he hasn't, no, but I do drink tea and coffee. Okay, um, the thing is, lithium can actually enhance the effects of uh, caffeine. So you might find that you might get problems sleeping at night. Okay. Um, so if you do experience this, it's probably best to cut down on the amount of tea and coffee that you consume. Okay. Um, I also, I mean, I have a cheeky glass of wine here and there. Yeah. I know with some medications you can't really do this. Is that going to be a problem as well? Um, again, really, the same rules apply. So lithium enhances the effects of alcohol as well. Okay. Um, so you might find that after a glass, um, where you would normally feel tired or drowsy, you will do. Okay. Um, whilst you're taking lithium. Right. Um, so it's probably best to avoid alcohol as far as possible. But if you do have the odd glass here and there, just be aware that okay. you know the 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 effects might be increased. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, well, that's everything. I feel like I'm I'm bit more aware of what's going on with my medication now so thank you for that okay that's no problem thank, thank you, you miss call thank you